Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Three, three, six. You know who that is, don't you? That's the gang, baby. Ayo, Parrish, this shit high, boy. Try to catch a vibe, yeah, I had to put her on. Bought a two-seater, yeah, we heading for the sun. Shawty got my heart, I ain't tripping for the fun. Yeah, I won't start, I ain't tripping, I'm a stun. Oh. What is up guys? 336 Mud Mafia. Joe, we are back. We got Georgie and Alpine with us today. We got something freaking huge. The Mafia has picked up a new hauler. As you guys can see on the thumbnail, we got us something to pull the 50 footer and the camper with. So you guys know Daryl. He actually flew up to Michigan to buy this 2017 F350 Lariat 67 Power Stroke Diesel. Now, with that being said, the Mafia is going to be using this quite a bit. As we know, J Money is selling his 20 500 high country we got to have something to pull not only the 50 footer but also the camper my f350 the red one it can't do both at one time if it could it wouldn't even be in the situation so i'm gonna show you guys what we just picked up like i said 2017 ford f350 lariat 67 power stroke diesel this truck is the same truck as my 2015 ford f350 platinum just the new body style they call these aluma duties right luma duties yes, sir that is, georgie has the same body style as my red platinum OBS they call them nowadays. Yeah, that's that's the new day OBS now. Like you know, it used to be the 90 square body style. Now it's I guess ours is so old and clunkers now. We got the OBSs. Now this truck is not deleted. This truck is all stock. Come from a one owner people. I think their names are Reen and Ronda up in Michigan. Great people. They sold this gym to us, and it is a freaking gym when I say gym. This thing right here is low mild, been very well taken care of. The man even put a ton uh what do they call those tontos? Roll up bed cover, tonto Roll cover. Tonto cover. That's it. I was I was calling it tontos. They put a tonneau bed cover on it already loaded with a puck system fifth wheel hitch for either the camper and or the uh 50 foot gooseneck now with the deleting being said you know guys you know we wouldn't delete a truck it's not like we already have some deleted trucks not like that so epa if you're watching this trust me we're gonna leave this thing all stock and on the plus side we already have a little bit of window tint on it not enough for me and jay money but hey always can add a little bit more to it let's go over the inside so guys it's got a lot of the same similarities as my 2015 platinum f350 has this thing i'm telling you i love the new interiors i love the new exteriors of these trucks ford has really got their freaking homework done on these trucks so all ready to show the display is freaking amazing that's a lot bigger than the freaking 2015 F350 Platinum display. The screen stuff's kind of the same, a little bit of different buttons and stuff, but listen to it. I'm not used to a quiet truck either. I'm used to a truck that's actually got a straight pipe and a delete kit on it. Listen. God, it's quiet. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I don't have a straight pipe to listen to. So on here, this is one of my favorite freaking things about these new trucks. You ready for this? This is the best thing. They should have been doing this in the 90s if we had the technology to do so. Put this thing in reverse, you got your backup camera, right? Now, hit that button. We have a fifth wheel hitch camera. You can see in the bed of your truck. Look at this. Not only does it have the normal camera right here above the tailgate that we always use to back up the regular trailers, but up top here, we have a camera in the third brake light looking down on your fifth wheel hitch. So it makes life easier hooking up to something like that. Not only did it come with the fifth wheel hitch, but we also have the Kurt ball to slide right in the bed, your puck system adapters and stuff like that. I mean, he already had the right setup. It's, it's like that he made this truck for Mud Mafia to pull that trailer and that trailer right over there. Couple things I did notice right away as soon as we got the truck. No sunroof, which is no big deal to me, but Jay Money is in love with sunroofs. Also, down here on the bottom on my truck, there's auxiliary switches. They're up top this time. See, look, look at this right Houston, we have takeoff. Now, nothing's hooked up to them right now, but that's not saying we're not going to hook anything to it. And guys, coming from Michigan, that's up there like where it's cold all the time, it snows all the time. That's a lot of rust situations up there. Being a Luma Duty and this guy kept it in like a garage and stuff, look how clean this truck is. This thing is clean as a pin under the fender wells, anywhere, all over the truck, it is clean as a pin. Like, I'm being serious, guys. Like, this is a freaking unicorn of a dually, and I'm glad we got to put our hands on it to help pull stuff for the Mafia. Now, I'm going to hand the camera off to either Alpine 
Maryland or Georgia because Jay Brown's not here. Unfortunately, he is at baseball practice and we got to get this thing hooked up to the camper and I'm going to hook it to the 50 footer because I want to see what the difference is between this dually and my dually. Mine's deleted, tuned, straight piped, all the good stuff, bells and whistles. This one's all stock. I want to see if there's anything that changed power wise. Yes, the same motor, it's the same truck, really just a basically a different shell, but I never did get a chance to pull that camper with a non deleted, non tuned F350. Now I want to see what it's got to see if we need to go ahead and delete this thing. Just kidding, EPA, or keep it the way it is. Guys, I am pumped up. We are not only gonna be luck rolling to Busco Beach wherever we go and new trailer, new units, but also new trucks. This is gonna be a big deal for us. Let's get back up to the camper and uh, let's see what this thing will do. Alpine, honest to God, do you like the new camera setup on these Dude, things? I love this thing. Look at this right here, watch this. Yo, Georgie, open my tailgate. I don't think you can hear me. We need a microphone. They need to start adding microphones to these things. Open tailgate. Look at this. Look at little Georgie. That is amazing. No more looking out the back glass, even though it does have a sliding rear glass. That's how I used to look out the 2015 to hook the camper up, guys. Guys, that right there, if that's not a lifesaver, I know I keep talking about this, but oh my God, look at that little thing move with it. That's pretty sick. Now we might have to go up with this camper. I'm not sure. Definitely going to go up with it because I have it set for my 15. I think this thing sits a little bit higher than the red dually. My good, Georgie? Swing it to the left. I'm watching my big camera. No, that's right. All right, we're good. Hold on. Hold on. I'm holding. Twist the wheel to the left. Sharp. All right, come on. Pull up. Still good? I can see it on my camera in here. I'm so happy to take a peek about that camera. It's not even funny. I'm gonna, if, I, if I don't sell the red platinum, I will be looking for a third brake light camera for the platinum. Hold on just a second. Come on back. I think we're locked in there. That worked out really great. That plug system is amazing. Let's see how much this thing squats when I lower this camper down. I mean, we're off right there. That's about the same as my, my F-350 Platinum. It ain't even squatting that much. So question is, does it have the same amount of power as my F-350 with it being tuned, deleted, and all that good stuff? I mean, I know, of course, it's not gonna have the same power on paper, but it still could pull just as good. I don't know. Guys, we got it hooked up to the big Sandpiper, the Mafia's living quarters when we go on big trips, Busco, Florida, Texas, you name it, this is our living quarters. We got the new white 6.7 hooked up to our big Sandpiper. Let's not waste any time. Let's throw this thing into a montage and really show how badass these trucks are. I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the floor. We're still in at the gas station when the time's cold. In the kitchen, hot still trying to flip it out the stove. Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody know. Watch them take my dog away, it was way too hard to stay composed. Fight to see the light of day, all this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day, green light, it's time to go. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. Die too young. 100 miles per hour, I might crash, cause a good die young. Yeah, a good die young. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more Red light, no way I'm coming back home Long dirt road all on my own I'ma be the greatest, write my name in the stone Write my name in the stone Yeah, I'm coming back home Yeah, I'm coming back home Write my name in the stone Cause I'm coming back home Cause I know my people needed me Diamond in the rough, I don't know what it is they see in me Go down as a legend in my city Cause we beat the streets Trying to spread the wealth around the block No, I can't keep for me Told me I should leave I see the bigger picture and it's way bigger than me Can't be living like a king But my people need to eat If I got it, then you got it We gon' get back on our feet And I put it on me I don't wanna live life fast Or die too young Or die too young Hundred miles per hour might crash Cause good die young Hey, but here I come Push it to the limit, I can't go no more Red light, no way I'm coming back home Long dirt road Oh, guys, what do you think about the 2017 F-350 Lariat, baby? She is a hoss, even without being deleted, without being tuned. She just pulled the Sandpiper. She just pulled the 50-footer, and she done an immaculate job. Speedy just pulled up. What do you think about this new gym right here, baby? She's nice. You like it, really? Oh, yeah. Is it something different to see the Mafia in? Uh, yeah. Could you see it coming though, like with the Mafia getting like a new dually to pull, a new tow rig? Oh, for sure. And Chucky got here. What do you think about the new dually, baby? Man, it's my, it's gonna look slick with a North Star behind it. It does, it matches that North Star, don't it? It sure does. Alpine, Georgie, what you thinking? She's already a work truck. I know, she, I've already got mud on the tires back in, getting the camper, backing over there, getting the uh, 50 footer. It got a little muddy over I had to put her in four wheel drive, but hey, the four wheel drive works perfect. I'm sure it does. 336 Mud Mafia back here. It does need a sticker, 336 Mud Mafia, either there or on the sliding back window. 
it needs a 336 sticker but this thing is just how we want it we had the fifth wheel we've got the ball we're ready we're ready to go y'all ready to go to texas or what are you ready you're going to, you're going to keep the stick in there to beat what off the beat, beat the women off of <laughs> i don't think kk1k will go for that <laughs> guys if you like the video of the new tow rig the 2017 f356.7 power stroke lariat please hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe please share it around i know it gets old hearing me say share it around do this do that but guys you guys are the reason we're doing all this stuff the reason we're trying to get stuff built up the reason why we're trying to push two videos a week the reason why we're trying to give the best content possible for you guys share us around get it moved around for everybody to see it and you know what's gonna happen i'll catch you on the next video